Hi, it's Rich from Mark Rev, also known as Goose. <clears throat> I'm just going to change the pads. Ooh. Ooh, that was In this jacket. These are on quite odd. I'm going to use a little bit of a rubber matty, tap them off. I'm using a 14mm ring spanner. I've seen better days, obviously. Tools are meant to be used. Right, so first of all, I'm just gonna undo these two bolts. I'm rushing today because I've got to do some jet washing before the missus gets back. I don't want to be on the wrong end of air. I'm just using this little button G here. You can see that. I'm just the bolts from there and wiggle it off. Just tilt it in a bit, that's it. And I always just take a slack. And then these and the original pads, I'm sure of it. No, still loads of meat left on them. So I'm going to just turn it that way. There's a little cotter pin on the end there. Which Fine up, and, but me being a pigeon is I've got all my tools on the other side because dirty, but still plenty of meat on them. On the one side, look like warm moss, so cut them might be sticky out. Right, let's take that off there. As you can see, I'm not a mechanic, not easy, but. Well, they are amazing, I think anybody can do Anybody with a bit of uh, common sense, so oh, that's me out of the way. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. Then, you get the right sized Allen key, and crack open the pin. Which I don't really know what size it is. Oh, I caught my finger. I nearly saw it, but then just undo it. Undo it, undo it, undo it, undo it, undo it. Undo it. I'll take the threads all the way out. Just, like, pop. just pull it. Like so. Put that to one side. Just put it clean in a minute. And then, we hold up. Drop. These are, and the pin falls up the top. Then <coughs> just clean all the insides up. This is crudded up with a lot of caked on stuff. It's probably copper grease, as uh, Maverick would say. Craig, don't use copper grease, it shuts everything up. But <laughs> I'll use a bit. <laughs> so, in the back now. It's time just to get these all cleaned up. So all you need to do is hot or warm the soapy water. Well, first of all, I will clean all the bits first. All these, take these off. Which, which for some unknown reason, these and the, uh, how you say, niffing original pads by the looks of it. And this bike is 20 years old, so. These off. I'm trying to get the camera. It's, uh, it's very unorganised today. I'm always like this anyway. So, I... mm -hmm. thing I've noticed is wrap. I should just put that there. Well, I do. When I take these off, I don't know if anybody else can give us any idea. But there's these shims on the back. Now. These are a little bit thinner than the EBCs I'm putting on, the gold-sintered ones. 
so these don't fit on but I don't know whether that's a stop to squeal so I'm not going to put them back on I'll just put a bit of copper grease on the new ones that will annoy Craig and his dad his dad's been doing this job mechanic for years Oops. and he says copper grease is a no-go but I'm just going to annoy him and put a bit on the new pads in the bin so I'll come back to you when all you've got to do is clean everything up really basically clean all the stuff off which is going to be boring I'm going to clean all this out with warm soapy water I've got some spray which this is what I use I ordered it which is brake cleaner and what it tends to do is I soak all them brakes push the calipers out what you can do press your brakes but don't press them too hard just keep pressing look at the calipers coming out the piston part and um, just give them a, a clean over or in in there and then spray this all in just keep spraying it on you see all the dust and crap come off it make sure you give them a good clean and uh, this seems to dry everything up I don't know if it's about so that cleans and it dries all the moisture out so we'll get back to that in a minute when I've cleaned all these parts up and put the new brake pads in thank you over and out check out clean anyway just spread them with the stuff let them dry out a bit now but now and again these pistons stick so I tend to use these one of these stand there little fat max uh, clamp you can put something in between like a bit of wood or something in between the two and just hold them together pull them in just keep pressing your brake make sure you don't pop them past the seal right, that means a call to the bike doctor then because it's on him that could fix it for me anyway right moving on just clean the rest of the bits and I'll show you how just to slip them back together. I'm not fortunate enough to have a nice gauge on the side of my house. I'm not posh like the other three. They've all got big garages on the side of their houses. And, uh, actually, Maverick has got a lovely garage. Commandeered it from his son. Crawled it, pinched his shed. Not very nice, is it? it should know better. Right then done that all they do is oh, come on try and do this one handed what's it looking at hang on right there just hold to the camera put that right wipe my hands it's just fit on the back so make sure you get no grease on it and the front part, the other one. Let's just clip on. Make sure the owls line up. Lovely. Then put up these down. Because these are all dried out now, as you can see. All cleaned up. Mm, looking bloody beautiful. So, if you can see that, all you do is get the pads, together, a little bit together, put them together, with the owl obviously coming up there, lead them from the bo bottom end like that, so, come on, check it out. Side like that, make sure make sure them plates them on properly. Now what we do then is you put this on. Don't worry about oh, the space of them yet. Do in a minute. Make sure that's on like so. Get your paint. Wrong way, you donkey. Make sure the threads in the right that way there. So guide the holes in the first one and press down on the clip to get it through. There, once that's in, so it's lines everything up there. Really, what I'll do now is what Craig Maverick 
I'll put a bit of copper grease on just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'll put my key, which I think is a six mil. Make sure I put this in, crying out loud. It's going to be going down and then all of a sudden back pads of it shot out one of your mates in the face you might to make sure you did bend it over Craig always says that but I don't know what he means about that that's it now all done the relief the hardest part now is so the pads are the thick together you've got to try and open them up I'll try and open them up like that I'll just slip them out of the disc get it lined up then you blind as a bat That's all the Craig in me, in my glory now. Right, I'm just going to do this by that and then I'm going to get that. Which I've borrowed off a good friend of mine. I've got a, a torque wrench. <sighs> but I don't think it works good because never talks back to me anyway so. right and that's it the one thing don't forget to pump your brakes that's it three or four good pumps Whoa, give it some all out okay. cake and that is it quite simple if I can do it anybody can adios amigo